elevators. We take them literally every day. Some of which very futuristic, and also some of which scary as hell. Today, I'm going to be testing several elevators in Roblox, and I'm also going to be rating them in terms of their design and functionality. Nothing much to say, so let's just get started with the video. The game I'm playing right now is called Less Than Lives, so yeah, maybe you can stop asking me what game it is in the comments. Big shout out to Doggo on Discord for helping me find the game. Uh, we kind of discussed this at the start of the year and obviously, you know, it's not the start of the year anymore. Also, do consider joining our Discord server, link is in the description, so you can request your games there and also just hang out. So this game is just a whole bunch of lifts. And yeah, this, I don't know what else you're expecting. I'm not going to be testing every single one because I do have a life, so I'll just choose some of them. So we're starting with this beautiful lift. It looks very much like a hotel lift. Oh, I hate the deaf sound. Okay, so the elevator freezes you. I can see that they have put in a lot of detail into the motors of the lift. I mean, it's not necessary, but it's nice to have it. Okay, very cool. I do like how this lift uses LED strips. It looks very modern, but I do see that the railings are a little bit high up. And it's nice to see that this elevator also has sensors. Great start to this episode because I do really like this lift. It's really clean and it's so simple. And no, I'm not streaming. So this modern lift, I do not know the name because I'm not really an expert about lifts. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I do realize it's a little bit slow, but it's good enough. And I really don't find anything else wrong with it, so yeah. And the developer has joined the game. Okay, this next elevator, the design completely beats this one already. Maybe I spoke a bit too soon because it looks like it's broken. So let's try and fix it. It says idling, I don't know how... You can call me an engineer now because I just fixed the lift. Yeah, I really like how tall the ceiling is. The buttons are not marked for whatever reason. I do realize that this lift is also slow, but I'm not sure if it's the game being laggy or it's just actually just slow. And I also like how the screen animates. Okay, we've made it to the top. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Okay, all in all, this lift is so well designed. The level of detail and just the modernized aspect of it is just, you know, it's so good. So I think this futuristic elevator will get a 9 out of 10. If it could be a little bit faster like the other one, then yeah, it'll be full marks. But honestly, this is incredible. Incredible. Moving on, we have Add Template. Okay, no, it's this old elevator. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of old elevators, even though I really appreciate the rustic design. I'm sure I've seen a similar elevator on YouTube before. Okay, it's somewhat similar. And yes, it's the satisfying buttons. But one- Oh, whoa, whoa! Everything just shook. But unlike other elevators, this one actually allows you to free roam. And the doors do open for you. And I do see that there's an emergency stop at the bottom, so I'm gonna try that. Also, I do apologize for the lag. Uh, this game is actually pretty laggy. See, my frame rate right now is averaging at 30. Okay, let's stop the lift. Okay, and it does work. Oh my god, I don't know how my fans managed to break. So this lift, uh, it is old, but I do appreciate how it's automated and everything is still kept up to date. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I would have rated higher, but I'm just not a big fan of these old elevators. But I do appreciate the old design. Alright, my fans are already getting ready the next elevator. Hold on, hold on. It's just a regular elevator with a single door. Oh, they triggered the sensors, but at least now we know they work. First observations, it is quite small in here. There's no person limit. And y'all are already breaking the elevator. Oh, come on. Not really much to say about it. It is quite dark. Other than that, the design is simple and clean. So I will also give it a 7 out of 10, just like the whole lift. If it could be brighter, then yeah, I can see it. So, okay, so these two lifts are pretty similar, so I'm gonna test the glass one. Starting off with a really modern look. Funky alarm. I just heard the bus stopping sound, I'm not sure if that's part of the game. Level of detail is really there, I can see how it has the clean, rounded edges and just so simple. I really enjoy newer lifts than older lifts, honestly, because why go back to the past? It's just like saying, why take history? Then you can just take geography and learn about the present. It is also small, like the other one, but at least one of them has a glass, oh my god. This lift will get a 8 out of 10. It's more open because of the glass look. I'm pretty sure all these lifts are made by the same creator, so yeah. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on board. Alright, it has announcements, that's Rift very good. A digitally animated screen, that's very nice. Okay, so we've arrived. There's only two floors for this one. And there's an up button even though there's no more up. Uh, but one thing to note is, it's all one shade of colour, there's no... There's nothing special to it other than just light and... So it's a depression room. But it's not a depression because you have Wi-Fi. I wouldn't rate this lift in terms of design as well as the other lifts. And not to mention also really really small. So unfortunately, I think I have to give this a 6 out of 10. It is good, but not that good. Okay, my fans are already waiting for me for this lift, so I'm just gonna join them. LCD panel on top. Oh! That is way too loud. Okay, I don't know what's happening to the doors. And it looks like this lift is falling apart. 
Also a really noisy lift. The inside uh, is not the best. Okay, I do not know what is going on with this audio. Okay, so the design is just like that lift. It's just so plain. I mean, at least this one has more than one shade of color. I will give this a 7 out of 10. It's simple, but I wish the designs could be a little bit better. I'm gonna try out some old ones which I found over here. So I'll start with this one, which has flex tape. Just a heads up, um, there's gonna be a lot of jump scares for the next few minutes, so yeah. But don't worry, I'll remind you before it happens. Hopefully. Oh, goodness! Yeah, uh, if I ever were to write this lift in real life, um, I won't. Light bulb is just dangling, panels just falling off, wood is- OH! I haven't pressed anything. I was about to say this is even scarier than the horror games that I played. We all know that infamous clip. I don't know, I'm- Ooh, battery. Ooh. Ah! Okay, let's just go up. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here right now. Okay, I'm kidding about the designs on the lift, by the way. I know they did this for game purposes, and I know it's purposely made to look like it's really run down. The level of detail just put into this is insane. The sounds of the lift just falling apart and just having very bad shaking. So in terms of design and game purposes, I will give it a 10 out of 10. The amount of detail put into this is just insane. If the lift can stop shaking... Okay, you thought this lift was bad. Uh, if you see the next lift over here, it's even worse. With the elevator targeting us to go this way, it stopped at the wrong floor. Go. Started again. Go. Oh! Go. This game is a nightmare. <laughs> There's jump scares everywhere. Okay, so this is definitely the smallest lift ever. All these wood designs and everything. I'm actually not really a big fan about this. This lift is going up. I think so, I'm not sure where else is going. Probably going southwest. The that was so rude of the lift. I was trying to make a sentence halfway and it kicked me out. This lift is scary, but in terms of game design, again, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Really good lift, honestly. But again, I will not write it in real life. This lift looks strangely familiar. Mm, but doesn't this just remind you of some game? There's loud sounds everywhere. Okay, uh, design or not, this lift actually looks horrible with this yellow color design. Oh! Okay, it has sensors for this all of a lift. It just doesn't blend into anything. So, in terms of design, I will not rate it very high. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's really ugly. In terms of cabin and what is happening over there. Functionality is decent. Okay, we're done with all these horror lifts. Let's, let's move on back to the modern lifts. I do want to try this lift because it really reminds you of IKEA for some reason. Or oh, is it IKEA? I don't know. I don't know why, but something about this just reminds me of IKEA. I I mm. Okay, we finally have different alarms. After that traumatizing horror lift experience, we're back to silent. I just want to take this moment to appreciate every single bit of detail. I'll put real life reference pictures to it. This is the weight thing and it looks exactly like real life. And I love how every single... I don't know how you call it, but it looks exactly like real life. Oh, I didn't know you could open that. Uh, I guess we can service the lift now. It's interactive, so you can open it up. Oh my goodness. So for this, I'll call it IKEA lift. I will give it a 10 out of 10, honestly. It's interactive, it's so well designed, it's big, it's spacious, it's modern, it's clear. Anything good you can say about an elevator applies to this lift. Okay, this lift isn't really extraordinarily different, but it ha I, I didn't know elevators could say bad words. It has a keypad, select floor. Okay, so this lift is from the future. I mean, it will be the future if it actually works. I actually used the same lift in one of my games. Okay, I'm gonna ask the developer how elevator works. Okay, let's see what the verdict is from Mel. It is coming. Oh, it is. She actually fixed it. I didn't expect her to fix it. Of course, the first thing we do is touch the buttons and I do not know how to go up. Strangely, this lift doesn't have any buttons. Okay, we're moving now. Very bumpy ride. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, they just faced into the roof. Into the <laughs> shaft. My fans are screaming. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta be honest. No matter how futuristic this lift is, uh, it is really buggy. There's people trapped in the lift, people falling down from the lift. So I think I have to give this lift a 4 out of 10. It's a shame because the designs are actually really good, but the functionality, no. <laughs> 
raiding people. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. I really like this game, the link's in the description. It's called Less Than Lives. This game is really good. Thank you very much Mel for being over here. I didn't expect her to be here. Shout out to Doggo on Discord for helping me find the game. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode if it comes out. It will come out. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Goodbye. Oh.